Welcome to teaching kids with base 10 frames. Kids can often count to 10, but don't have a strong understanding of what 10 represents. Base 10 frames give kids the experiences of working with the number 10 and sets the foundation for beginning addition and then subtraction. Working with base 10 frames, kids can get a greater concept of what the amount of 10 is. For example, it can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 red circles, or it can be 9 red circles plus 1 yellow circle, or it can be, t whoops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven red circles and three yellow circles and many other combinations. Since more kids are learning at home, let's make base 10 frames more engaging for kids. Math can be fun. So in Introduce them to Barker, who loves bones and wants her 10 frame filled with dog bones. So for Barker's bones, kids will pick cards to place the bones in the 10 frame. This one has already been done. There are 10 white bones and we have placed the 10 white bones in the 10 frame. One, two, three three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So kids get the understanding of what ten is. Now we're going to have them make different combinations of ten. So here's our next card that the child will pick and it has one different bone. It is a brown bone. So we're going to have kids take that away and replace it with a brown bone. And then they're going to see that nine plus one also equals 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine white bones plus one brown bone equals 10 bones. Here's another example. This one's getting harder. We have one, two, three, four, five, six white bones, and one, two, three, four brown bones. So we'll start by taking away one. Actually, at this stage, we need to have them take them all off, and they need to put, place six white bones. One, whoops, one, two, three, four, five, six. Have them look at the card again. And they have one, two, three, four brown bones. One, two, three, four spaces. So we'll go one, two, three, Four, and now kids can see that one, two, three, four, five, six, plus one, two, three, four, also equals 10. And there are more cards for them to continue with. These were the templates that were used in the Barker Loves Bones demonstration. Now introduce kids to our new friend, Charlie. Charlie loves cheese. He dreams about cheese. And he is always excited when his base 10 frame is full of cheese. So let's make Charlie happy and fill up his 10 frame with 10 slices of cheese. 
we're going to use numbers in this example instead of pictures. So our first card says 10 plus 0. 10 plus nothing. And that equals 10. So let's get started. One slice, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, that is ten yellow slices of cheese and zero orange slices of cheese still equals ten. Let's pick another number. This is five plus five. Okay, let's take them all off and put the first one, five yellow slices of cheese. One, two, three, four, five. Let's look at our numbers again. Five plus five. So we're gonna do five slices of yellow cheese, which we have done. And now we're gonna add five slices of orange cheese. One, two, three, four, and five. So let's see, does five plus five equal 10? One, two, three, four, five yellow slices plus one, two, three, four, five orange slices equals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, it does. These are the templates that were used in the Charlie Loves Cheese demonstration. Now it's time to introduce Cody, and he loves carrots. So he definitely wants to see his base 10 frame full of carrots. Cody did start out with 10 carrots, but in this demonstration, I'm going to show how to use base 10 frames to teach basic subtraction or beginning subtraction. So always start out with 10 all frames filled. So there's always 10 items. So Cody has 10 carrots and he wasn't very hungry. He only ate one. So they're going to pick cards and this one shows one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like we have, but one is crossed off. That means it is gone. So it is ten minus take away one. So now let's count and see how much Cody has left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, because he ate the one that we took away. So 10 minus one equals nine. Okay, let's try one more problem. We'll begin with our 10 again. Let's pick another card. So we see all together there are 10, but let's see how many Cody ate on this day. He ate one, two, three, four, five. So it is 10 take away five. So let's take five away. One, two, three, four, five. How much does Cody have left? One, two, three, four, five. So 10 take away five equals five. Now introduce Annie to kids. Annie loves apples. 
She begins each day with 10 yummy apples. So Annie begins each day with eight delicious apples. In this activity though, we're going to demonstrate actually what she eats. So we're going to be subtracting, taking away apples. And our first card, and all of the cards in this section will just have numbers, not pictures. So our first equation is 10 minus five. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten here, and we're going to take away five. One, two, three, four, five. And that shows us ten, take away five. Let's see what we have left. One, two, three, four, five apples. So she still has five apples to eat. Let's fill up the 10 frame again with all 10 apples and see what she ate the day before. Mm. She did not eat all of her apples yesterday. She ate eight apples. So 10 take away eight. Let's see how many she had left. We're going to take eight away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see how many we have left. One, two. So 10 minus eight, 10 subtract eight equals two. And there are many more cards for kids to work with. These are the templates that were used in the demonstration of Annie, who loves apples. This is additional practice for adding. And these are the answers. This is additional practice for subtraction, take away. And these are the answers. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe. And as always, the link for all the templates will be available in the description section.